Here's hoping I don't have to do this one twice. Woo! Yeah, last week was obnoxious. Um, hit the start record button twice, I guess. My mouse was having problems. So that's how that happened. My cat's over here now. What? Make sure I don't run over my headphone cord. Anyway, she's meow. Um, it's another episode of Woot Wednesday. No, no idea which one. Glasses still want to be stupid. Um, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, some of the things that I remembered after the fact, after I shot that sucker last week a second time, I forgot that I had started doing free riding 20 minutes before I go to bed. Have I been able to do that every day? No, but I have started. I've gotten, I think, two, two days, two or three days within the last weekish or so. Maybe once I start getting back on my schedule, I can start doing that again getting uh, getting into that habit of like okay it's it's almost bedtime so let me go do this free write and then get it over with and i'll it'll be like shut the computer off get ready for bed go in there write for 20 minutes with my timer set on my phone my favorite time for doing stuff is 20 minutes get your mind out of the gutter anyway um but yeah, most of the things that I, I the timers I set, because most the one the things that I had seen were like, oh, set set your timer five to ten minutes. And I'm like, no, because by the time I feel like I'm getting into a groove, that five minutes is gonna go by quick, and then I'm supposed to stop. I'm like, no, just give me twenty minutes, and I'll ramble on or whatnot. I just need to start picking um, themes. I think on on some of them, some of it's just I just like. Start writing and then figure something out uh, for something else. And then eventually I'm going to go back with a highlighter if I don't knock everything off my desk. I bought highlighters the other day, last week, just so I can go through and mark things that might be useful for lyrics. So, yes, go me. Um, I still need to get that. One that I started on um, worked out. I still have to fix a couple of lines. And I still think the verses are too short. Yeah, I need to add more stuff to it. But that's what writing sessions are for. I do the regular, um, what do you call it? The free writing and then um, work on that. Of course, I'd probably work on that before the free writing. I don't know. Or do them both at the same time. Whatever. It doesn't matter as long as it gets done. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday, went to the Garden of the Gods and hiked around. Still could not find that flipping window rock to save my life. We only, um, we didn't even cover half, half of that, that place. Um, want to go like before <clears throat> this chair I swear before my kids go back to school this fall I want to go back out there again and um, like hike around and and maybe stay longer today it was just super crowded it's like couldn't get up early to get there early to avoid huge mass mass amount of people so that was fun um, Took forever to hike from the parking lot. Like as soon as we got to the um, the crosswalk where the street is, I'm just like, okay, I'm done hiking. Let's go back. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's 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 not something you can do at a fast pace. No, too many people were like walking around doing this instead of walking and looking at your surroundings. There's like giant rock formations. Any of you that have, have been to the Garden of the Gods knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I try to go every year. 
Last year was a bit of a pain because they had half the park closed because of construction, renovation, and whatever it was that they were doing. So it was just like, great. So most of the stuff we wanted to go see and do was blocked off. So nothing's blocked off now except for areas you're not supposed to go to because, you know, rattly danger noodles don't need to be stepping off the thing, um, off the, off the, the pathway. No going outside of the path because, yeah, the, then, then you're in snake territory. Then again, the whole place is snake territory, but you run less the risk of getting bitten if you go off the path. And it's like, ridiculous but yeah didn't see any only critters i saw were the birds and one mule deer butt just traipsing through going into the trees but and that was about it so yeah that was that was my thing for today my feet were killing me afterwards sweating under my ponytail it wasn't even that hot outside it was like not quite 70 degrees today and thankfully it didn't rain so that there was that but it's supposed to rain the rest of the week so it's just like what do i get to do for my last week off of work before i have to go back in there and fix all the stuff everybody screwed up while i was gone which every time i take any time off that's exactly what happens so yeah um let's see what else been playing around in blender Learning, working on the uh, uh, shader, uh, working on my own shader library. Uh, the shader textures that I've um, seen on YouTube, copied them down, put them into my own thing. I did, I was at one point putting them all into like, I was separating them and putting them all into one file. But when I go to load them in the uh, blenders, uh, material library thing that they have in there now you can like set it to like look in a certain area for yours and you can load it up but it was just taking too long for for the thing to load so I was like you know what I'll just sit here and I will just make every each each shader their own little blender file that way when I go to need one I can just find it because I got them sorted into their own blend files and they're also now sorted into their own folders so I can just go from there and it would just make it a hell of a lot quicker than me trying to sit there waiting 20,000 years for that section to load so I was like all right so I did that yesterday <clears throat> been doing other things I'm trying to think I've still got I finally got my bedroom taken care of yay oh oh the yeah <laughs> last week um took everything out of my room got ready to vacuum the carpet vacuum wasn't doing well and i could smell something burning so i'm like oh crap so i turned it off unplugged it took it apart cleaned out about like a, a guinea pig size amount of hair and nonsense out of there out of the brush so i'm like okay cool fixed done whatever got it put back in reassembled it it ran for like two seconds and then the brush stopped moving again and i'm like what the hell is going on so i was screwing around with that for about an hour and a half until i ran across a video online oh yeah uh take how to take off the end caps on your roller brush and i'm like that's a thing so and i had a vacuum beforehand and i just thought it wasn't working I'm wondering if that was the same issue. So when I took it off, I I don't have it on me, but you know you know if you've ever taken a part of vacuum before and got it got the end caps. One the uh, has like a silver sil it's a cylinder or whatnot. One side is flat, the other one has like a, a groove or something. Well at least it does on my vacuum. So you just bang the center of that little metal piece until it separates. And then you look into the inside of those little caps that go on there and it was completely covered with like hair and i'm all like ew <laughs> hair and gunk and nonsense so i cleaned that out put everything back together now that sucker runs like a champ and i'm like <sighs> yes i do my own 
small appliance maintenance. I'm awesome like that. It's like, I'm not going to take it to a service thing if I can fix it myself. I mean, I got a good, um, I've got three sewing machines I need to service and, and, and clean and stuff. But that's, that's another time that this, this section has to get gone through again and reorganized because that's a mess. And then I've got all this crap up here. Tomorrow I might clean my desk. Yeah, I, not might, I need to clean my desk tomorrow because it's a mess. And then I've got the art supply thingy paints and stuff over there in the corner and i need to take everything out and reorganize that because there's like stuff sitting off to the side that needs to actually go into the damn drawers so yeah that's fun <clears throat> so much for staycation i didn't quite couldn't get the car stuff done i wanted done i need car locks and a trunk lock and I just can't find any of that crap at any flipping place here and I don't want to I, I it, it, the car is discontinued so I don't know what place to go to and I'm not going to a dealership because they'll charge you um your firstborn for their services so it's like uh, uh, I'll just I'll just find it online somewhere and just have it shipped and do it my own damn self like I always do I do have to take the car and get an oil change though. That I don't have I don't have the stuff for because I don't have enough room in my trunk to keep an oil pan to take it anywhere to have it um safely disposed of. So yeah, I'm gonna have to have to have somebody do that. I'll have to call around sometime this week and get that done. Um before next Tuesday when I go back to hell. Uh, uh, uh aka work. Um, let's see. There's not much else really going on oh other than yeah it's like i had all this loose paper in my desk that because it was like i had all this scrap paper i just like sliced it into fours sort of so I, I made my own notepad so it sits here it's just like you just line everything up or whatnot i wasn't particular about the edges being straight except for this top one so I just got some school glue and like um, I used uh, clothespins, held it down, glued it, set it aside, let it dry, glued it again, let it dry, done. So yeah, because the scrap paper in my, uh, um, what is this thing called, file cabinet was out of control. So yay. I am, I do a lot of things. <laughs> if I need something, I look up online how to do it. I was like, I didn't know padding compound. It's not like I'm going into business getting die cut machines and like cutting shapes and stuff and getting a, a, a press or something to hold the sheets together while you put the padding glue on it and then wait for it to dry and do all that stuff. I, I mean, it'd be great, but I don't. Ha I, I have enough hobbies. I don't have enough space. <laughs> I got too many hobbies and not enough space for all of them. But whatever. It is what it is. Um... Yeah, there's not much else going, really, particularly going on that I've been doing. Just trying to work on a, a piano track. I I can't play it. I mean, I could. I can play some of it. <clears throat> it's just some of the things are a little too far for my hands to go and to hop and in, like, too much, too much stretching in between. And my fingers don't, I don't have a good enough um, spread for them. So it made it difficult and it made my carpal tunnel act up. So I've not been touching the piano, playing the piano, or doing anything with the piano for the last couple of days until that calms down. Because I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. And it's like, I, I manage it well. Because I, I know when it starts to act up, <clears throat> I put my brace on for like, a day, go to bed, get up the next day. If I still have to wear the brace, put it back on until it stops feeling like there's like a pain like right in my forearm. Cause um, what happens is my uh, muscle right in here, muscle tendon, I'm not sure which, probably tendon, pinches and it makes my index finger close. And the only way to get that to stop doing it is I have to pry it uh, open again to get it to stop and usually I'll put my brace on 
for a couple of days and then it'll be fine and I won't have to deal with it. I don't have to deal with it all of the time. That's why I don't try, I try not to do a ton of repetitive things because that's what got me the carpal tunnel in the first place. And it wasn't from typing. No, it was from a job that I had back in 99. So yeah, that, that was great. I'm like, I didn't even know what was going on. All I know is I was sitting there and my finger would just start doing this for no reason. And then I could open back up and I would just keep doing it. And I'm like, the hell is going on with my hand? It was weird. And then it's like trying to lift things. When this is going on, if there are heavy things I'm trying to lift, it will um, activate my nonsense. And then I end up dropping whatever it is I'm holding or I have to hurry up and set it down and not break something. On, on the floor or in the box or whatever it is I'm carrying or drop it on somebody, you know? It's like I, I know how to deal with it without having to go and get surgery done. And it's, it's like I can't, I can't get, I can't have the surgery. I will be out for, I'm not even sure what it is anymore. Last time I, I checked anything on it, it's like six weeks or more depending on, um, to take to heal from that kind of surgery. But there's this other surgery that I'd seen and it's like, you're awake and I'm like, no, I don't want to be. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 I will only consider that as, as, a, as a last resort. If there's absolutely no way to get past having it done, then I'll get it done. But right now I don't need it done. I manage it pretty damn good on my own. So I'm rambling on again for like almost 17 minutes. <sighs> yeah. I can talk sometimes. Um, yeah, there's not much, not much going on other than this is my last week of vacation. Cries and Klingon. You know how Klingons cry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, what do you call it? Replicate that because I, 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 I don't want to, um, but, uh, <clears throat> let's see. How was your last seven days? Anything exciting, new, anything? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.